I have a number of different devices on my local network, and typically when I want to access them or refer to them, I'll use their local IP address. So if I want to just make sure another server is up and running, I can ping 192.168.0.200. That's another server on my network. And I can see that I am getting a response from that. But it is a bit cumbersome to use the actual IP address every time. Now, I have set up static IP addresses on the local network for these different servers, but it would be much easier if I could refer to them by name. And that is actually pretty easy to do. And I'm going to do this on a device by device basis. So what I can do is edit this. Now I need to use sudo because I need administrator access here. So I'm going to step into the root account to run nano over this file slash etsy slash posts. And this is on Mac OS, and if you're using a Windows machine, you're going to have to do this in a different way. So on Mac OS or Linux, you can run this command. You'll need your password. And what you can see here is a list of IP addresses and host names. So 127.0.0.1 is localhost. And that one that I pinged earlier, 192.168.0.200, I have named telecom.homodeus.local. So instead of pinging 192.168.0.200, I can ping telecom.homodeus.local. And it will be pinging the exact same address. If you look here, it's offering the host name and the IP address, whereas here, it's just showing the IP address. They're referring to this same machine. And the syntax for this is actually quite simple. All you do is you put the IP address on your local network and a tab and then the name that you want to use. And this, I did it in a way that follows the pattern of typical domain names, so like a prefix like www dot the address and then dot local instead of dot com or whatever you're going to put there. But you can actually call this anything. So you can call it um, my server if you want. And you'll just say like 192.168.0.100 or something like that. And you can just call it my server. So anything will work. You can call these literally anything you want. I don't think you can put spaces in it though. So I think that's your only constraint. Now, you can do this on a network that you have done very little configuration for. So if you have not set up static IP addresses on your local network, you can still use this, but it will be a little bit inconvenient because as those IP addresses change over time, you're going to have to come in and change this file. Whereas in my setup, I have set static IP addresses on all of these servers. So all I have to do is put this information in here once and I am good to go pretty much forever. One last thing to clarify here is that these host names only apply to the machine that holds this file. So for every machine in my network, I would have to copy and paste this information into that specific host file in order for that machine to recognize it. So this is set up on my MacBook, so only my MacBook can use these names. Now, I can copy the same information onto, say, my desktop, for instance, and I could just edit that host file and use the exact same names for the exact same IP addresses, but it only takes effect for the computer that houses this file. All right, so we all know how this part works. If this video is useful to you, please hit the like button. It helps me grow the channel and it'll help other people find the video. Also, this is part of a larger project where I'm trying to build a company starting with just three old laptops. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. So thank you for watching.